In this video, we're going to be talking about the screen recording option that is located in the My Viewboard Whiteboard Online software. The screen record icon looks like a broken circle with an inner circle on the inside. Sorry for my poorly drawn picture, I tried my best. And this can be located on the lower left hand side right next to that screenshot button. Now if you go ahead and left click this once or you tap it once, it is going to give you a few different options for you to go ahead and screen record. Either your entire screen, your window, or your Chrome tab. Keep in mind, if you want to go ahead and share your system's audio, you want to select that check mark. However, if you don't want to and just want to screen record your screen, you can tap on the window that you want, hit the share button, and it's going to automatically start recording your screen. At the bottom, it's going to give you a few different options to stop sharing or hide. And on the left hand side where that screen recording button was previously, it is now giving you a few different options to choose from. On the right hand side, you do have a pause button and on the left hand side, you have a stop button. Now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this with a little lesson plan that I made. Let's say I had group one, go ahead and interact with this activity. So I had group one come up and I wanted to record them while they did this. So I already have my recording going. It's recording them and everything that they're doing on my screen just so I can monitor that. Now let's say they had a quick question or someone had to go take a bathroom break or something. I could press the pause button that will go ahead and pause my recording but not totally stop it. And if I want to play it again, I can just hit where that play button is. Now, if I wanted to stop my, my lesson completely, I could click on that stop button and it's going to give me a few different options that I can choose from in order to share this video. Either I can share it by QR code, upload to my Google Drive, or download it directly to my computer. I'm going to go ahead and choose my Google Drive. And now one thing that is very important is that you want to switch it to .mp4 so that all students, no matter what the device they have, can open it directly on their device. Now my Viewboard Whiteboard is going to go ahead and think about it, place it directly into your Google Drive, and now it's ready to be viewed the moment that you upload it. I hope this video was helpful regarding the screen recording in my Viewboard Whiteboard online, and I hope you continue to watch some more.